Hey everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing jumps on upwards. These are going to be jumps that help you get to good spots, help you get away, help you skip big parts of the map uh, because you're doing a pretty cool route. So the first jump we're going to do is actually you can get from where I'm stood right now over to there. You need to use this little iron fence here. You jump, uh, crouch jump up onto here, work your way up slowly. Make sure you've got a little bit of a run up. It's quite thin, so it's not a lot of movement, but enough to get a run up and you can jump over then quite easily. Next up is uh, one of my favorites because of basically how easy it is to do and for how much it allows you to skip. And you can actually go from here up to there where the plant is. It's fairly easy to do. You just got to hold right quite hard and crouch jump as you go. And as you can see, you skip a lot of the uh, map which you'd otherwise have to walk around to get up there. Another easy but surprisingly useful jump is going from this fence and up here. Without that, you'd have to go around here. It's not that much longer, but say if you're on fire, it could be the difference between life and death and getting to that health cabinet. Another very useful jump in this area is actually going across from this balcony over to here. There's quite often an engineer camp up here and a dispenser. So by using that jump, you can get past any blockage and get to the engineers quite easily. You can actually perch on this rafter here and wait for people underneath. People coming from this door are unlikely to spot you, although you are a little bit more obvious for people coming through this door. But as long as you're quick enough, you can get a pretty cheap stab. Similar to the last point on bad water, you can avoid fall damage from most of up there as long as you control your strafes and land on the fences below. There's quite a few sort of angles you can do this on. Um, but as long as you're landing on a fence or on the uh, raised area here, you'll avoid fall damage from almost any balcony around here. There's a pretty cool method for getting up on this balcony where there'll often be engineers or snipers camping. You can use these barrels and these boxes. Uh, make sure you get quite a wide jump to get onto these fences here, otherwise you'll hit your head there. And then you can hop up. And so say a sniper's camping here, he might be looking down the stairs, but he won't be looking to his right necessarily. So you can get quite a good sneak up on him. Quite a common spot is for defenders to be waiting in here for you, and it's very difficult to actually get any damage on them. But there is a really awesome jump where you can land on that and then jump into the window. And this may take me a few takes, because it is quite difficult. Or not! When attacking first point on blue, there'll very often be snipers or engineers hiding up there. What you can do is climb up this rock and very easily get up here cool little shortcut is that you can use these wooden panels here like steps to uh, jump and climb up here which saves you having to go around either that way or that way so it is quite a good shortcut. There's another pretty cool dummy route here where let's say you're being chased and you look like you're going to go down here for the health and the ammo. What you can actually do is land on these two rafters and if that's not enough you can actually climb back up on the wood here and back on the rock to completely give a very complete trick. The last thing I want to show off is this really broken spot that you can get to as jumping classes and it's up there and I'll just try it now. Awesome. And you can actually get as many players as you can up here. Um, you'll have to hold back to make sure they don't push each other off but you can wait here on red defense as the blue push around here and you can get really stupid surprise bomb. Sometimes it works and sometimes it's really stupid. <laughs> I'll link a video where you can see me and three mates trying this, and it doesn't go perfectly. Cart's coming with fire. Oh, I told you! <laughs> hey everybody, and thanks for watching. Uh, another video in 60 frames, so please let me know if it looked good, if it looked better than some of my earlier videos, and I'll continue to do 60 frames. Stay tuned for more spy content and Team Fortress in general.